Welcome to this look at this mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Porto Barinha Farm. This is a map by Bruno Covas, Zay Enrique. Agro Farms BR 285.33 megabytes download. This came out almost two weeks ago now, and a few people have been asking, "Am I? When am I going to be doing the map tour?" So here it is. I've had a crazy couple of weeks with various different things, so apologies for the delay, but here it is. Um, there are contracts available on this map. There are no mods available. I say mods available. There are no mods that have been put in by the map maker on this map. This is set around, as far as I can tell online, the Sao Paulo region of Brazil. We do have extra crops on here. There's no biogas plant either, which is interesting. Uh, the map looks like this. Very reminiscent of... Mine's gone blank, the name of it, that we had recently. With this kind of, not quite terracing, but um, the sort of banks and berms to avoid soil erosion and channel water and that kind of thing. Now, a new farmer, normal economy, which I'm on. We start with field 12 and this farm unit here. Slot count is 586 out of 1,299. That's the same on all three game modes. So the start equipment you start with, you will have on all three. There are no buildings or anything, but we will have a look at that in just a second. Field prices do vary in that we can go... From very small there, 42 grand, 44 grand, and gradually work our way up if we want to, up to some fairly large plots like 23 for over a million, and plot 10, which is huge. The periphery of the map is over 11 million and takes in all of this around the outside. Um, there's a huge factory complex we're going to get to later. It's mind blowing, honestly. I'm so impressive and that's incredible so yeah field price is very and you can gradually build your way up there are three farms the one that you start with there's one up to the northeast and then there's one down pretty much well not quite in the southwest but over that way which we're going to get to and we're going to have a look at while we're here let's go into the garage so we start with a john deere 6155m star st max 180 john deere t560 harvester Crumper Bandit 750, couple of headers for the John Deere Harvester. We've got a plow, we've got a cedar. And that's it. No buildings or anything like that. Now, as far as the extra crop types go, what do we have? Hang on. If we scroll down, we've got uh, Brachia area, which is like, like a grass. Uh, if we go across, we've got rice, we've got sorghum, black beans, millet, and we have got rye. So a ros is rice, sorgo, sorghum. Uh, Fejiao, I think it's Fejiao, is your black beans. Mileto is millet. And Santeo is the rye. So all of those crop types can be planted using either cedars, which will do all of those, or planters, which will also do all of those. So the extra crop types can be planted or seeded. It's entirely up to you. As far as harvesting, on this particular map, there are no extra bits of machinery or gear for harvesting those. All of them are harvested using a regular harvester header. So that's your planting and harvesting of the extra crops it's kind of taken care of. So like I said, there's no biogas plant on the map. This is where we start at the start farm. Also, there is no sleep trigger placed on the map so you can put your sleep trigger wherever you like whatever one you've got whatever one you've got from the mod hub this is the building there is no sleep trigger just here we have a barn which has your start machinery in it and around the back i think the trailer is tucked in there we've got a water tower i think there's water at each of the farm areas some more barn and building space and kind of workers accommodation i guess now the one thing i haven't found which has got me a little bit puzzled unless it's around the back here because it does say about a workshop. I'm sure it said about a workshop. Headquarters has a workshop for repairing machines, which I haven't found. 
I looked in all three locations. I've looked around here and haven't found the workshop trigger. We do have a loading point here. As you can see, and kind of here from underfoot, is that kind of red ground, dusty kind of environment, as you can imagine. So, we're going to grab a tractor and we're going to head around and we're going to look at all the cell points, as we often do in these situations. I'm going to grab, uh, I think I'll grab the John Deere. Doesn't matter. Oh, I've just realised what I haven't done. Just bear with me one second. I had forgotten to turn off auto engine start and auto save. I don't want it doing that while we're going around. So, I'm going to head down to the main road. We'll have a, you know, we'll see the landscape as we kind of go around. This is another, I mean, we've had a few Brazilian ones. And this feels, again, completely different to, you know, obviously there are a lot of cues to let you know that you're in Brazil, like the foliage, the flora. As you can see, various different tree types, the ground being very red and that kind of thing. But it does feel different to the previous ones we've had. The livestock market is directly opposite. Just down here. Now, it is fair to say that, you know, there, there are elements of this, like I say, when we get to the factory complex, it is mind-blowing, I, I personally think. But the flip side of that is it's a fairly basic map's the wrong way of putting it. Um, because as you go around, it doesn't come across as particularly basic. There's loads of really nice details that have been added in. So anyway, we're heading up to the northeast, which is where the second farm area is. And as we drive up, you're going to see, as we go across, those kind of raised, ridged areas. You can see on the map, you'll see as we're actually driving across as well, to prevent soil erosion and channel runoff and that kind of thing. Which again, is going to make, depending on what equipment you're using, planting, seeding and harvesting fairly tricky depending on the size of headers because unless you've got very flexible headers there's a lot of ridges and bumps across these fields if you're looking for something a little bit different this could be the one now it doesn't say on the website whether or not it's seasons compatible or precision farming prepared. If it's not precision farming prepared, then there'll be the standard giant's soil map that will be used. But like I say, it doesn't mention seasons on the website or on the mod hub. So I can't say for certain whether it is or not. But up here, we've got another water tower, and this is more like a, is like a little town, kind of? With a church up there, loads of barn and building space. Just gonna see. This is, is this class as the main headquarters? I'm just looking for a workshop. It's really got me puzzled. Is it up in here? Doesn't look like it. But as you go around, there's more barn and building space. More accommodation bits there. And we have got ramps here, but there's no there's no disc or anything. Unless you have to buy the land first for that to appear, but yeah, I haven't found one. So this is a plot of land again. You can buy it and have this as your start farm if you want your sleep trigger to be up here. You absolutely can, but there's no shortage of um, storage space. Now you don't you also don't start with a silo. There's no silo in place. We have got one lot of animals, they're right up in the northwest corner, which we're gonna get to. I think they're gonna be the last thing we're gonna get to. So we're going to head back down to the main road. What this has also got, it's, a lot, it's got like a double lane highway that runs across it with the um, on-ramps and off-ramps. It's, it's so well made. Again, the detail on it is incredible. It, it's just amazing. I think we can cut across. Now, next to the animal dealership, which we're going to get to in a minute, there is... I'm going to say it wrong, Calcario, Calcario, which is the limestone point, and it's just a pile of limestone by the side of the road. Um, we turned left after we did the live, livestock market, just literally just past that. We're then going to take a shortcut across to the highway. You can see just ahead of us those silos in the distance. That's the uh, 
cooperative uh now i'm going to say interfloat because that's how it's written but it's probably interflow out or something i would imagine now i looked down there straight away and the weird thing was that that ridged area just to the left i looked and thought oh man that would be awesome for driving those new monster trucks but as you get closer to it there are bushes and trees and stuff all over it i thought ah oh, that would be just absolutely awesome anyway farm we started at is just there if we turn left just after here the limestone part is this just there so if you want to buy limestone you do it there you're going to cut across to the highway the traffic is fairly slow on the highway so you can overtake it fairly easily weird and random foliage sitting around we'll check the map in a minute as i always do when i do the map tours to show you where we are where we've been just to put where we're driving into some context so you can kind of get an idea of a larger broader look at the map so the cooperativa in here large sell point and then we come to the main store which we'll get to in just a moment I'm not sure if these scales work actually they do yeah it's because it's in black i couldn't tell when i first sort of had a whiz around the map to have a look cell points up here i'm just looking actually am i going to get through this with the doubles on quite just and they're back round. now the other thing you can yeah, it's glaringly obvious <coughs> there's loads of room you know big open space you like it's that difficult one you could get away with large machinery because there's a lot of big open space but again because you've got those ridges sort of terracing across the fields that may prevent you from using it so it's a bit of a double-edged sword really isn't it some how do you deal with that we to cross the road now to the main store now the main store is a bit of a curious one too because we've got a buy point, Barinha SP, but there's no workshop trigger here. There's no, which again, is going to be a problem if I don't find the other one. I mean, there are plenty of placeable workshops and stuff available, but I went round with that on. I've got my side panel on my PlayStation and couldn't find a trigger for the workshop itself. We've got the buy point here, but no workshop which had me a bit puzzled so anyway we started from here field 12 at our main farm animal dealer then we went up to the northeast to this little town area up the top here then we came back down back past the dealer limestone pile there cut across onto the highway out there to a cooperative interfloat crossed over to the shop just there if we go across one um, we go up to cooperativa as you can see it takes your main cereal crop types as we go across and then the different cell points there's three main ones on here kind of overlap we're going to get along the road to one in well the fairer which is the fair which will do things like your potatoes and eggs and milk and wool and those kind of things but it will also take wood chip and other various things there's no wood chip cell point other than the fairer but then we've got usina barinia which is a power plant and that will take your potatoes, sugar beet and sugar cane. So fairly specific. And when you see the size of the, the facility for those things, it's absolutely mad. But, yeah, I'm not... The workshop thing's got me puzzled. I don't keep going about it, but... I'm, <laughs> I don't know where else it could be. It's probably going to be in a shed or a building that I just sort of glossed over and glanced at and didn't really think too much of. So, onto the highway. Continuing again. I haven't got to worry about traffic catching up too much got just about enough room with the twins on this but as we head west across the map we come over the brow of the hill and there's this big is it intersection i don't know but yeah junction we would call it in the uk with your on off ramps and it's quite a it's quite a thing you know i would think if you're modding it yeah wow where did you start but yeah you will see
this is one of two this is the larger one of the two because we've got one a bit further i'll zoom right out and now strangely bear in mind this is in brazil there's a road junction just like this not far from me a place called hemel hempstead and it's almost identical to this almost identical not the red ground but the actual layout of it is almost identical very strange but anyway yeah it's a big old yeah big thing like it oh let just hit the barrier too busy admiring the engineering works now we're going to cross over the highway because the third farm we had the start farm the one in the northwest and now we've got this one here this one's a little bit smaller again you can have this as your start pump if you wanted to we'll cross over Fazenda Santarita. So again, more barn and building space. Water tower here as well. I'm going to check just in case we have got a workshop trigger here. It does say main headquarters, it definitely says that. That's why I thought I was losing my mind. Which is a fairly regular occurrence. Again, no silo. And I don't know... It's a difficult one, isn't it? I know it's one of those things that you do map tools and people say, where are the silos? Or where was this? Where was that? And sometimes you think, oh yeah, that's weird. There wasn't one. Or you, I just missed it or whatever. But I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse that there's not. It's the same with the sleep triggers. I think that people say, well, where was the sleep trigger? You know, there are tons in the mod hub. And the same with, with silos. Sometimes I think it's a good thing not to have one place as long as placing them isn't a problem sometimes you get on a map and there's no silos and there's no livestock and there's some sort of thing and then you try and place it anywhere on the map and it won't let you that's a bigger problem but having the ability to place what you want where you want so you've got the kind of I say the basic map is hardly basic is it the basis of a map let's put it that way and it does give you a lot more scope to kind of make it your own so anyway we're right out on the western side of the map now and the fair cell point is there, which takes all those things like eggs and wool and milk and you know, there's a few other crop types and stuff, but it takes them all there. And then across the road we've got a rather large fuel station. Just here. Quite a large placeables area, I guess, here as well, you know. I could list all the things, I was just going to say, you could put, there's no point, you could put anything you want on it, it's a placeables area. Um, again, I can't find a trigger here. Hmm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head up to the power plant. We're going to come back down from the power plant and then we're going to head up to the sawmill. I could have done it the other way around, but then I need to get to the cows, which is up past the sawmill. So it's kind of, I'm trying to pick the best route round, but it does mean we get to use this. And I'm going to go around it the right way as well. great now what we've also got as we go up here and this is what i mean about this facility being colossal you come into this power plant facility and you can imagine it's been kind of gradually or say gradually not necessarily gradually but kind of hacked out of the rainforest and plonked and i know it's not you know ecologically sound and that kind of thing but as we move up here imagine these big conglomerates and stuff power companies but We've got these huge pools, like a water treatment facility off to the left. Now, it doesn't have any cell points or anything there, but it is massive. And there are these, like I say, these massive pools. We have also got a kind of storage building barn, which I'm going to swing a bit close to, just in case that is the workshop trigger, which I don't think it is. So over to the left, this kind of treatment facility, although the water looks very red and kind of brick dust-ish. But they're all around this facility. So it's the kind of the byproduct of the, the process. Everything's being processed, washed, prepared, and all this runoff comes out into these tanks and kind of rivers that come across there and out into this pipeline. And when you think about this in, in itself, again, it's wow, I, I love it. And it's 
feels different, you know? The cell point itself is just this bit here. All this entire facility is just for that cell point, really. And this is the one that would take potatoes, sugar beet and sugar cane. Now, we can drive out and that road there, let's check the map. So from the shop, we came all the way along past that intersection, junction, that farm, then went to that one there, fair fuel station, underneath them we've come up. So we've come up to here, to the power station. Now this road here takes us out and all the way back round, all the way around the outside. So there's a big loop round. So I suppose in reality, if you had some, if you had, I mean, you've got however many trucks, lorries coming in daily, you don't want them going back past each other and getting each other's way. So it just becomes a big circuit round. I'm just looking actually to see. It's not a biogas plant bit over there, is it? There's another building right over out the way there. We'll quickly whiz and have a look, just in case. But yeah, this is my mind boggling. I love it. Check it out. Just to be sure. Then from here, we'll come back out onto the, sort of the main highway. And then we'll come back up to, I'm going to say it wrong, the Mederera? Which is your timber yard, your sawmill. How do I cut around? Very bumpy ground. It would be weird if it's, it's not labelled as a biogas plant. I'm just looking at the map and this is sort of Almost again, almost a placeables area. Oh no, it's nothing. I just thought there might be something here. But I suppose there is plenty of scope. And there is, I mean, although this is part of the periphery of the map. And that's the bit that's like 11, 11 million, 200,000 or something to buy. So it might be when you set your map up, you might want to use the government subsidy signs or something. Buy the periphery before you start your let's play. Or it might be something you, you aim towards. You might decide that... Your goal is to build up and build up and buy the power plant. You know, I don't know. Yeah, however you want to go about it, it's up to you, isn't it? So from here, back out to the highway, up to the sawmill. So I guess the point I was trying to make was that the, the things that are missing, silos, biogas plants, stuff like that, you can take as a negative and you could take that away and say oh, that's not for me there's too much stuff missing or you could flip that on its head and take that as a positive and say actually that gives me a bit of scope to to do what i want put my own biogas plant or whatever i want on it you know i'm trying to be glass half full you know i also realize i don't have to be coming all the way around here but if i've taken the time to make it let's use it if you build it, they will come. Now, God, I think it's directly opposite the farm. Pretty sure it is. That's what I'm talking about. All the sort of roadside billboards and stuff that's been put on. Let's cut across there. We'll head up to the sawmill. It feels very big. I, yeah, I don't know why. I'm going the right way, aren't I? I'm just looking at the mini-map thinking, if I've gone the wrong way, I think I'm going the right way. And here we have the sawmill. Lumber cell point. Just there now, like I say, the wood chip, there's not a wood chip cell point here. Again, there are tons of placeables, there's plenty of room, so you could put your own, I mean, there are plenty of sawmill mods and bits and bobs out there, so you could put your own wood chip cell point in here, but you can sell your wood chips at the fair. And from here... We're going to head right up to the northwest corner. Down the right way. I think so. I 
So the only livestock that you start with on the map, which is cows. There's a little oh, cow pasture right up in the northwest. Very easy to miss. It's a bit of a drive. Just checking down my list, making sure I haven't missed anything. Oh yeah, that was something that I've got written down here. I said about the harv it's planting and seeding and harvesting. <clears throat> as far as trailers, most of the trailers take all the crops, including the new crop types. So do the auger wagons. So the auger wagons do your regular crop types and then do seed and fertiliser. They do also take all the extra crop types on this map. So if you're looking for a trailer, the auger wagons do as well. I did make a note of that because I was looking through for mods that the map maker might have put in. Um, anything that's different, anything that stands out, and that was one of the things. Oh, the reset point, I mentioned that as well. The reset point is at the main shop. We never found the um, workshop, did we? Workshop trigger. Hmm. So, right up here, we come to the cows. Now, this is fixed in place, it's not sellable, you don't own it from the start, or anything like that. Um, it's not down as a mod either. So it is kind of here. This will take 200 cows. We do have an entrance here to get into the pasture. I suppose if you want to cut the grass or anything like that. Milk point is just there. Feed and I say straw bedding. Let me just check to see if that door opens. It doesn't. We'll check the fields just in case there's a water trough in there. But if we cut around through the bushes here, We've got a dialogue box, which is there for your 200. And then we've got our manure point there. That's a good point. Where was the slurry? Oh, there we go. Slurry point's just there. So what we'll do, we'll hop the fence and let's just check the field to see if we can find It's a big pasture, isn't it? Just looking to see if we can find a water trough. Unless it is just across the front there. It might well be. It might be why they've given you access to the field with that gate if the water trough's in the field, but... I can't see it. Ah! Now, that could be for bedding, couldn't it? So it could be feed and water across there, and it could be this is your bedding bit. Well, that does look a bit moist. But there's not a trough here, so I would say this is potentially for the bedding then. Worth checking the field, isn't it? You never know. So, that... We came from the Usina Barinia, back down to the highway, up to the sawmill... Then we came up here and across and then followed this track all the way up here up to the cows, which is up there. And that's the map. Now I may have, I'm just looking to see if I've missed anything that looks like a facility of any description in case there is a biogas plant or a placeable zero that I've missed. I don't think I have. Um, that, as far as I can tell, is the map. That's Porto Barinha Farm by Bruno Covas, Zay Enrique, Agro Farms BR. Sorry for the delay. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.